Hello everyone, this is Zahra. I want to let you know how we can add some subsections to any section or topic here in collaborative course design. If you are designing a course and you want to uh, categorize something, what you need is to come to the last part. Here you see the small box with this plus on it. You should first of all add some topics to it. Oops. Uh, look, one topic was added. I add another one as well. As you see, this is our course practice area. I'm not going to make any change to my friends' cooperations. I just want to show you how we can add some subsections and make some changes in sections. Okay, I added several topics. I go to this topic. First of all, let's see how we can change the name of a topic. I'm in topic 11. I go to edit, edit section. And uh, here the name is topic 11. I should click on custom. When I click on custom, then the system allows me to change it. I call it, or let's say, section one. Okay, save changes. I added the name of the section. Now I come to topic 12. I change the name first of all. Click on custom. I call it subsection 1. And then um, I can save changes, but if I want it to be part of the section one, I should go to this part, to the level. Uh, this is the normal as a first level tab. I come here, child of previous tab. You can just join the any tab to the previous ones not in the middle of them. I haven't been able to replace and misplace these uh, topics. Maybe you can, but I haven't been able to. This. So I consider it as child of, child of previous tab and save changes. <coughs> Let's see. I have section one and the subsection one came into came under the section one. Okay, let's do it with topic 13. Edit. As you realized, first of all, we change, we can change a name or not. Changing a name is not necessary. I just want to show the categorization, so I make changes in the name. Subsection two. And then what is important is setting the level of this tabs, child of previous tab. It goes under the previous tab. The previous tab was section one. As you see, in section one, we have two subsections. You can create one part, one of these topics for yourself. If, of course, it's the last part, then add one topic to it, go to the settings. I prefer to make changes to show the process. You may not want to do it. Now it's subsection three, but what is important, as I said, is changing the level from normal to child of previous tab. Okay. 
Now I've got subsection 1, subsection 2, oops, and subsection 3 all under section 1. Each of these topics has the capacity to be categorized into as many topic and or subsection as you want in case it is the last one very very close to this plus if you have learned how to make changes in the place i mean change the place of these topics to bring them here and do this to them please let me know till then have a nice time